What is over the ocean's surface, beyond where any sunlight could reach what kind of life exists here, in this pitch black world that we ever so rarely see as you sink deeper, the light goes. First, there's blue. Then the twilight zone, where strange forms start to emerge from the shadows. Beyond that only darkness. But in that darkness, life thrives. From the bizarre to the beautiful, these animals are adapted to some of the most extreme environments on Earth. What's even more astonishing is we really have discovered only a fraction of what's out there. Man has been exploring land, traveling across skies, and even reaching outer space for ages. However, more than 80% of the ocean has remained unexplored to this date. It houses over 70% of Earth's surface, yet it is still very mysterious. And the deep sea. Well, that's like another alien world here on Earth. The ocean consists of layers. The topmost layer, where light breaks through, is called the epipelagic zone. Most life with which were familiar popular coral reefs, dolphins, whales, and all kinds of fish that you might have seen in aquariums live here. But a little lower, we come to the mesopelagic or twilight zone, where the light turns scarce and we start running into the weird and wonderful. Go even deeper, beyond 1000 meters, into the bathypelagic zone also called the midnight zone. Sunlight never reaches this realm. The water is cold, often just above freezing. Pressure is tremendous, crushing, many thousands of times what we experience on the surface, and yet. Life thrives. Enter the anglerfish the poster child of deep sea animals, with its gaping mouth full of needle-like teeth and a bioluminescent lure attached to the head, swimming through the eternal darkness, luring prey straight into its jaws. Something out of a sci-fi horror movie, this is nature's ingenious way of assuring survival. But the anglerfish is just the beginning. Now, let me introduce the jellyfish Atala jellyfish which staged a spectacular light show when threatened. It flashed its glowing red rings in an attempt to distract predators so that it could escape unnoticed. But it is not the only one with such a plan. Many deep-sea fish, squid, and even worms use their bioluminescence features for communication, hunting, or trying not to be somebody's meal. Take the vampire squid, for example an ancient species, more fearsome in appearance compared to what its name suggests. It is not a predator at all, however, rather, it calmly floats in deep water, its glowing light creating an aura that is simply spooky and confuses any potential attackers. And if that wasn't enough, its dainty webbed arms can turn inside out, showing a glowing view to scare away danger. In this deep, they have truly made darkness their friend. It is just the beginning of secrets they keep. Not all deep sea animals are small and crafty. Actually, some of the largest, most mysterious animals in the world exist in the ocean's depths. Among the most elusive is a thing known as the giant squid. It reaches up to 40 feet in length and has kept people along the coasts in myths and legends for centuries. Once thought to be a sea monster that could sink ships, in reality it's a rather shy predator, which uses its enormous eyes the size of dinner plates to detect prey in the dark abyss. Other whale species, such as the sperm whale, dive as deep as below 2,000 meters in search of these squids. This behemoth the largest toothed predator on Earth plunges into the deep and can hold its breath for over an hour. It is a dance between giants in a life and death struggle in the total darkness of space where no human eye has ever seen. But the giant squid and the sperm whale are not the only giants of the deep. The colossal squid is almost as big as the giant squid but much more enigmatic. With enormous tentacles lined with razor-sharp hooks, it's engineered for battle out in the dark and murk of the deep. The deep sea is home to monsters, but it's also home to some of the most bizarre and otherworldly creatures you're ever likely to see. Meet the blobfish, usually crowned as the world's ugliest animal. But do not be misled by such unholy looks the blobfish is perfectly adapted for its high-pressure environment. Its gelatinous body enables it to just float above the ocean floor without expelling any energy and lets it survive in one of Earth's most inhospitable environments. Then there is the yeti crab, with its furry claws that harbor bacteria. 
These bacteria aid in helping it process the toxic chemicals spewing from hydrothermal vents deep sea volcanic activity that nurtures a whole new ecosystem. Speaking of vents, these hotspots are home to giant tube worms, some of which grow up to 8 feet long. They flourish in environments where no sun reaches, sustained entirely by the chemicals produced by Earth itself. And who could forget the deep sea octopuses, like, most notably, the Dumbo octopus with its ear-like fins, really making it appear as though it is flying through the water. Its cute outlook hides its mastery of stealth. It blends into its surroundings and glides effortlessly through the deep. Crazy and unbelievable as those creatures we have known are, deep ocean is still hiding tens of thousands of secrets. Each time people send scientists down to the deep, they discover new species, and what they find often goes beyond logics and imagination. Take, for example, the faceless fish found off the coast of Australia or the ghost shark whose body glows in the dark and has its retractable sex organ in its forehead. And let's not forget the giant amphipods, shrimp-like animals as big as a human hand, living thousands of meters beneath the surface. These scavengers prowl the ocean floor, eating anything that falls from above. But here's the thing. Every time we send an ROV or submersible into the deep, we're likely to find something new. There's a whole world down there, hiding in the dark, just waiting to be discovered. Why should we care about the deep ocean and its well-concealed wildlife? Besides the wonder and awe, the deep ocean is relevant to the very health of our planet. It helps regulate Earth's climate, gives support to innumerable species, and even provides us with resources for medicine and technology. With deep sea mining, overfishing, and climate change, it is an increasingly threatened fragile ecosystem. We haven't even scratched the surface of this hidden world, and our actions could disrupt it before we even know what's there. But the giants of the deep are not limited to just squids and whales. Some of the largest animals ever to have lived on our planet call these dark waters home. Consider the oarfish, for example the longest bony fish in the world. Oarfish grow as long as 36 feet while their long, ribbon-like bodies drift through deep waters. Despite such size, they hardly get seen because they live deep beneath the water surface. When they get washed up ashore, they often become the object of sea monster legends with shimmering bodies that twist in the waves like serpents from ancient myth. Then there are the beaked whales, a group of lesser-known giants that plunge into even deeper water than the sperm whale. These bashful and evasive animals hold the record for the longest, deepest dives of any marine mammal hydrops nearly to 10,000 feet and sometimes remaining submerged for over two hours at a time as if they just disappear into the deep to enter some sort of world we can barely envision. But arguably most awesome of giants of all deep ocean creatures is one with which we are all fairly familiar the blue whale. This biggest animal that ever existed cruises freely in the depths of the ocean, feeding on tiny creatures like krill. Though blue whales are not typically found in the deep ocean, their size alone makes them integral to this conversation. Sperm whales are Earth's largest toothed predators. Males can reach lengths above 60 feet and a weight of up to 45 tons. These whales dive into incredible depths, sometimes above 2,000 meters, during their hunt for the giant squid. Many sperm whales bear the scars of their encounters with these elusive squids, long sucker marks from battles fought deep in the abyss. These hunts happen far beyond our reach, in the pitch-dark silence of the deep ocean, where giant squid and sperm whale clash in a battle of titans. It's a rarely seen event, but the evidence is there, scars, pieces of tentacle found in the stomachs of whales, and the remains of these enormous cephalopods washed up on shores. Meet the blobfish. It was even termed the world's ugliest animal, but that is only because we take it out of its element. The blobfish, when deep in the ocean, actually has a body quite suitable for survival. Its gelatinous mass enables the fish to float just above the bottom of the ocean with minimal energy expended. Because of the intense pressure of the deep ocean, there is no need for a swim bladder, like most fish have, to prevent it from floating to the surface. But the soft, squishy form collapses out of water under the lack of pressure into that famously unfortunate appearance. Though unfairly maligned for its appearance, blobfish are really masters at deep sea living. In native waters, they don't really stand out, floating along slowly, scavenging whatever food the currents happen to bring along. Meet the Yeti crab, 
one of the deep sea's weirdest denizens it looks like a character from some fairy tale novel, with its resplendent, long, hair-like claws giving it this almost mythical look. But weird as it looks, weirder still is the fact that those claws are not there for show. The Yeti crab actually uses them to farm bacteria. It lives near underwater springs, called hydrothermal vents, in cracks in the Earth's crust where superheated chemical-rich water spews out, and the crab cultivates bacteria on its claws by waving them in the warm mineral-rich water. The bacteria help the crab survive in a landscape devoid of any food. The crab even ingests some of the bacteria for nutrients. If the blobfish were weird, wait till you see the barrel eye fish. It has a partially transparent head, within which there are two large, tubular eyes capable of rotating inside its skull. Yes, you heard it right this fish has a see-through head and his eyes move independently, allowing him to track prey upwards while perfectly still. It lived in that twilight zone of the ocean, somewhere 600 to 800 meters deep, where almost no light existed. Still, the barrel eye fish's peculiar eyes had adapted perfectly for this environment. They are sensitive to even the faintest traces of light, thus helping this fish to spot small preys from below, like jellyfish, passing undetected. Full of surprises is the deep ocean, and one such mind-bending example of the creativity of evolution is the barrel eye fish. And now we enter the realm of the truly bizarre. Meet the sea pig. No, it's not a pig, but this strange pink creature certainly looks like one. In fact, sea pigs are types of sea cucumbers, and they live on the ocean floor several thousand meters below the surface. They're squishy, balloon-like bodies and wee little legs make them seem like something dreamed up by a cartoonist, but these little creatures play a very important role in their ecosystem. The sea pig is a scavenger that feeds on the organic matter raining down from above minuscule bits of dead plants and animals that drift slowly down to the ocean floor. They're basically the deep ocean's vacuum cleaners, clearing the bottom and maintaining the health of the ecosystem. And for all the weirdness they seem to carry, the sea pig is very common. In some areas, as much as 95% of total biomass on the seafloor is comprised of them. So, though they may not win beauty pageants, they are quite crucial to the delicacy that is the ocean's balance.